So in talking about carving out a space for those people on the margins of society seeking to be uh, gatekeepers themselves or to have some sort of power, which is absolutely essential to build an, a truly equitable uh, Canada, uh, we have to look at the requirements to become a gatekeeper. What I have in, what I'm thinking about is universities uh, and, and the, the, uh, their programs. So I'm, I'm a teacher now, and in order for me to become a teacher, I had to be admitted to one of the few teaching education programs in Canada, in BC. And so I was fortunate enough to finally be accepted to one. But I remember applying for that program and I looked at the requirements and I thought to myself, how, how, how would anyone who's actually uh, lived in this system that is sort of moved and shaped by systemic racism, how would they make it into this program? You know, the requirements are impeccable grades, impeccable marks, uh, which can be challenging for people who maybe grew up in an area where there weren't a lot of resources. You, you have to have a ton of volunteer experience. You have to come from a position of privilege in order to volunteer. You just really do. Because most people who where I'm from, they're just trying to make it. They're barely surviving off of working one or two jobs. So the idea of volunteering is, you know, it's just outrageous. And then you need to have music experience. Maybe you played an instrument, you know, or maybe you uh, did acting, or you have to have some sort of arts experience. Again, you need money. You have to have privilege in order to be able to afford lessons. All of these things are required to even stand a chance to compete against the countless others who have those experiences in order to gain admission into the program. It's not, it's not fair. It's not equitable. It's just not. And I was fortunate enough to be in a position to volunteer. And I was fortunate enough to do those things at different points within my life. But I'm 38 years old. Most of the people in my program, most of my cohort peers were in their early 20s, 23, 24, which means they came from privilege. They were able to volunteer. They were able to do all these things that took me, you know, 20 years to do. They were able to do it in a few years because of their privilege. So in order for us to become gatekeepers and us to gain power and influence, something has to be done intentionally to put us in a position where we can thrive <laughs> because now we can't if <laughs> if i gave up i wouldn't be a teacher today and it was easy it would have been easy for me to give up and i would have been justified for giving up because it was so hard you know it, it, it's it's it, it was so, it's so hard looking at the expectations and realizing that my life just didn't allow for those things. And that's my story, but I'm sure that's the story of a lot of black people, a lot of Indo-Canadians, a lot of minorities. You know, you just look at what's expected and you, you laugh at yourself. Like you just laugh because it's, it's, it's unfathomable.